Well, another day, another reason why white people are supposedly the most horrible racist people on the planet. What's this? Apparently, white people are now also racist for posting pictures of their organized spices and preserve pantries. Along with, according to the Smithsonian and their aspects and assumptions of whiteness and white culture in the United States, rugged individualism, emphasis on the family structure, emphasis on the scientific method, Protestant work ethic, planning for the future, delayed gratification. What the actual fuck did you just say to me right now? Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. We really are so diabolical. Maybe I'm just not pure enough and I didn't get that organized pantry trait that all other white people have. Because this is my pantry. Is there anything we white people do that isn't a blight on humanity? I'll answer that question right after this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Silver's appeal lies in its rarity and aesthetic worth but its importance in today's economy and technology may surprise you. Silver is used in a wide variety of technological devices and renewable energy sources, like solar panels. That's why securing your financial future with a silver IRA from Noble Gold Investments is such a brilliant idea. This month, every qualifying IRA of $20,000 or higher comes with a magnificent Silver Eagle bullion coin. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com to learn more and make sure to let them know Drone Tech sent you. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. So can white people literally just exist without triggering the woke supremacists? Apparently not. According to this artist, white people not seasoning their food actually really is based in racism and classism, LOL. <laughs> the reason white people don't season food is because historically, rich white people began to think seizing their food was for brown people who had to season their food because they couldn't afford better tasting meat. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hold on, wait a minute, let's get this straight. First, we're racist because we have organized spices in our pantries. And now you're saying that because white people supposedly don't like spices, that also makes them racist. Admittedly, I do like a good white bread Miracle Whip sandwich. Mm, so good. Mm, bread. Fluffy white bread. Mm, 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 Miracle Whip. Mm, so unspicy and white. Mm, mm, delicious. Pure white. Spiceless bread. Mm, so good. So pure. So spiceless. <laughs> What the hell is that? Seriously though, what the hell is this? Sure, this person's just some rando artist on Twitter, but she's emblematic of the type of people that are coming out of our society now, which for as long as I've been alive, have proven how not racist they are by mainstreaming and normalizing anti-white racism. Now back to Twitter. Not only is her claim just ignorant, like where do these people get this idea that white people don't like spices? Do they even know any white people? Only one place has the Colonel's original recipe of 11 herbs and spices. Need a tip when you're stuck in an awkward situation? Too easy. <laughs> but surprise, surprise, it's also historically inaccurate. For one, there were hundreds of years of Europeans traveling the world and conquering it specifically for spices. Yes, there was a time when spices became obtainable to the masses, which started a trend in the upper classes to be anti-spice. But this was about class, not race. The blowback ratio on Twitter was swift and hilarious. This take is so dumb, I don't know which way to mock it. Do I mock the inherent inferiority complex? That is a hallmark of X is rooted in racism. Do I mock the lack of white people who don't season their food? Do I mock the NPR article? So many choices. Exactly. Literally everything is racist so these people can justify their hate of white people. I'm all for calling out harmful racism, but do some of you literally never have a day off? Yeah, and this is another good point. There's so many of us on the right that baselessly get called racist when in fact we do care about real racism, just not this completely manufactured BS. I guess you missed the hundreds of years of trade and exploration that Europeans did precisely to 
obtain spices. But white people do season their food. I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, exactly. This is just insanely racist. Like this person knows that every white person out there or even a majority don't eat spices when clearly that's not the case. Guys, I thought long and hard and I think I've come up with another way average everyday normal things are racist and oppressing everyone. Good choice. White folks seasoning their food must be cultural appropriation. Thus, white people are racist if they don't season and racist if they do. So, white people equal racist. I am vanquished. And Honey Ma was not happy with the response she got. To all the racists flooding my page, thanks for the post boost first off. <laughs> I'm sure it's exhilarating for you all to let out those racist thoughts you have throughout the day, but can't voice because you're afraid of the backlash or getting your ass beat. You have the safety and anonymity, and you get to feel empowered for the first time in your life. Do you think that she gets that she's describing herself right now? I think many white men are radicalized into racists due to severe inferiority complexes. <laughs> they feel inadequate or powerless in life. So the only thing they have is to cling to for superiority is their race. This is why so many lower class and outcast white men are vehemently racist. But wait a minute, you're the one that's making a racist claim about all white people to make yourself feel superior. It's just so crazy to me that she would tweet out this kind of nonsense and then call the very deserved backlash against her racist and of course blame white men. All right, folks, that's all I can stand to that one, but I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining. If you did, please hit that like like button share subscribe and make sure to leave a comment to let us know what you think thanks a lot see you on the next one